session one sql server 2019 introduction and features theoretical session sql server 2019 overview it happened on september 24 2018 microsoft launched this version preview that was known as sql server v next 2 with this announcement with this heading in the blog the SQL Server 2019 create a unified data platform with Apache Spark and Hadoop distributed file system packaged together with SQL Server as a single integrated solution. My Microsoft SQL Server 2019 is built on concept to move the artificial intelligence a step further with improvement over database services, security, and uh, integration to big data clusters. Now you can install SQL Server 2019 on Windows, Linux and containers. Uh, Microsoft has come out from its comfort zone and its isolation is well, I would say that. Because uh, I know we have been struggling for 20, 25 odd years that Microsoft product never work on Linux. Good that Microsoft is open for open source, is supporting open source, and now their products are also working on open source technologies. So, Windows platform, Linux, Docker, container images, big data analytics, all these platforms are supported. Top 10 regions to choose SQL Server 2019 directly taken from official Microsoft website. Harness the power of big data because it supports Hadoop file system, Spark. So bring artificial intelligence to your workloads, a complete AI platform to train and operationalize models in SQL Server, machine learning services or Spark ML. Eliminate the need for data movement, that's a wonderful feature added. The new feature added is data virtualization. I will discuss this data virtualization, what is it? Explore and interact with visual data, visual data exploration. Then we have run real-time analysis on operational data. Automatically tune SQL Server. Reduce database maintenance and increase business uptime boost security and protect data in use, track compliance with sophisticated resources and optimize with choice and flexibility. Good number of regions for use SQL Server 2019. Important features are big data clusters with SQL Server, resumable online index create, row mode memory grant feedback, online clustered column store index rebuild, enhanced polybase connectors for SQL Server, Oracle, Teradata, and MongoDB, and data virtualization. We'll need to discuss these features in short, one by one, the important features. And also, we have extended support for persistent memory devices. Database scoped default setting for online and resumable data definition language operations. Certificate management in configuration manager. Data classification and auditing. Graph DB enhancement and support to UTF-8 and always encrypted with secure enclaves. Let's understand uh, the major features. Data virtualization, for example. What is it? This was introduced uh, way back in SQL Server 2014, I believe, if I'm not wrong. SQL Server 2019 provides a data virtualization solution, which is uh, an improvement to ETL process. This concept allows integrating data from different sources. The way you have been learning, the reason behind your learning, your class, is that we want to migrate data from SQL Server to Oracle probably for your customers 
and you need to learn uh, SQL Server 2019 for that re purpose. Uh, similarly, Microsoft SQL Server also the same thing that you can migrate that data or integrate the data from other sources like MongoDB, Oracle, DB2, Cosmos and Hadoop distributed file system without moving data around. Direct integration supported. Eliminate the need to data movement. In an organization, we have a variety of database services which might include relational databases and non-relational databases. Normally, in traditional business intelligence systems, BI systems, we copy data and load the data into reporting platform with extra transform load, ETL. Extract first, transform it and load it. This is uh, this one topic I can tell you team I took three days to prepare the lab assign uh, lab setup and four to deliver four days to deliver the training on this one particular topic the title of the training was data downloading it was for uh, government of India controller and it controller and auditor general of India CAG which do the audit of ministries uh, I delivered this training in 2010 where the data from uh, multiple RDBMSs, Oracle was there, SQL Server was there, ASCII data, Fox Space, multiple databases, uh, SQL Server was also there. So we had to pull the data from various sources and uh, put it into that uh, tool for auditing. So the title was data. So similar concept I was uh, I discussed there that first you need to pull the data, then you need to transform it, change it, map it, and then load it. Similar service we have in OCI with the name Oracle Integration Cloud, OIC, which also offer the similar feature where you have two endpoints. One who is sending the data, the data where the data is available, and second where you want to take the data. In between whatever you have to do. The three phases are everywhere available. In worst case where there is op no option available, then we have the ASCII format available. Ultimately, this is uh, uh, the main purpose. This is what we do. We need to extract the data. We need to transform the data. And we need to load it, uh, the data to the target platform. So the process of ETL, ETL processes have their own pros and cons. ETL processes require development because of the transformation, mapping of the fields, they are relatively slow and might take a long time depending upon the data flow and the logic in place. We move data from different sources to SQL Server, transform the data and introduce the necessary logic. If you are working with a large amount of data, it also requires some more storage. So SQL Server, we introduce a layer for virtualization I was discussing that is called virtual layer. So you integrate SQL Server with Azure, Cosmos, DB, MongoDB, Hadoop file system, distributed file system, Oracle, IBM DB2. With this virtual layer, you can pull the data to Microsoft SQL Server. Probably this might be a very good tool for you, good uh, uh, feature for you, which you might be uh, trying out. The virtual data layer, what is it? The data virtualization integrate data from different sources and does not need replicating or moving the data. A single virtual data layer delivers unified data services that can support multiple applications. Here we define this virtual data layer as a data hub or data lake. We can process data through this layer, the data lake. Then we also discussed support for structured and unstructured data sources like when we are using analytics or apps through TSQL. So here we have an extra feature in SQL Server 2019 that is polybase external tables or polybase feature, which was not there earlier. Similarly, this feature, polybase external tables, whether data is safe in SAP, HANA or NoSQL or uh, relational databases or big data. You want to perform analytics using TSQL from there. So how can we pull the data from different data sources, different type of data? That is whether structured or unstructured. SQL Server 2019 
allows us to integrate data from structured and unstructured data sources. We can now process diverse uh, uh, big data and uh, relational data sources using TSQL from SQL Server using Polybase. Now, this is introducing some extra features, new features. Then we have big data clusters in SQL Server 2019. SQL Server 2019 big data clusters add enhancements to Polybase to improve the data virtualization experience between SQL Server and other database engines. It provides bi-directional integration, two-way integration with HDFS and Spark systems. It offers three major pieces of functionality, data virtualization, managed SQL Server, Spark and data lake to store high volume data in a data lake and access it easily using either SQL or Spark and then complete artificial intelligence platform to easily feed integrated data and prepare the solution. Right now, visualize these features that what are the possibilities with these features? Do we have these kind of features? Just do a comparative uh, study because you are all from Oracle background. Do we have these features? Without answering, just compare it with any realistic features which you have in Oracle, something similar to this. So big data clusters, data virtualization, as I said, then manage SQL Server, Spark and data tables, then complete AI platform, which was given in the previous slide. So I talked about three features and this is how they work. Additional new features in SQL Server 2019. It's support for persistent memory devices. SQL Server 2019 provides support for persistent memory devices. This directly access the device bypassing the storage stack of operating system for the files placed in the persistent memory devices. Then column store index enhancement, which was given in the third or fourth slide when I was discussing the features. SQL Server 2019 provide enhancement to column store index features, such as column store index maintenance, better metadata, memory management, a low memory load path for column store tables and improved performance for bulk loading to column store indexes. Then we have a resumable online index creation. It supports for resumable uh, online index creation. Check the tip at this link. Wherever possible, I will add external link also so that you can study further. Up to five synchronous replica pairs for availability groups. Now we can configure up to five synchronous replicas in an availability group that is AG, one primary and up to four secondary replicas with automatic fillover between these replicas for availability, higher availability now. Then we have SQL Server data discovery and classification. We have explored this feature in SSMS uh, that is uh, SQL Server Management Studio 17.5, we are working on 18.11 right now, 18.11. So 18.11 uh, have this feature. In SQL Server 2019, SQL data discovery and classification is integrated into SQL Server engine with a new metadata. This enables us to ensure GDPR and other compliance need for our databases. Then always encrypted with secure enclaves. That's another feature, new feature. It introduces a secure enclave technology. The, a secure enclave extends client application data trust to server side. It secures the data from malware and privileged users. Then we also have UTF-8 support. SQL Server 2019 provides support for UTF-8 character encoding. We can now create a character or where care column to store UTF-8 data. This feature improved data compatibility and performance improvements. Then vulnerability assessment. 
we can use now vulnerability assessment to track compliance of SQL Server instances and Azure SQL Database instance with the recognized security best practices. We can implement using reports shared by this tool. This provides easy to implement security compliance such as GDPR. That's all for this session. I'm sure you got fair idea about the features of SQL Server 2019. Thank you very much.